second, take a look at this. I know it looks like a stuffed animal, but that's the real deal. That is the cute baby panda. How cute is that? And for the first time, we got a rare chance to see the National Zoo's new panda cub in person. He's hitting some big milestone. He soon will have a name as well. ABC 7's Caroline Patricus brings us all the new updates. The National Zoo's Panda Cub is just days away from having an official name. Getting a name for the cub is really important this week. The public has an opportunity to cast their vote. We've got four name choices up on our website. And while the public anxiously awaits to hear what the winning name will be, today the zoo marking another milestone for the cub. So we use cub milestones to sort of mark out those steps much the way you have milestones for a child. Zookeepers and veterinarians doing their weekly checkup found the panda now weighs 10.4 pounds. He's packing it on. The cub is teething and today he's just days away from walking. So right now our cub is crawling, but its uh, arms and legs are getting stronger and it's pushing up. So that tells our team that it's getting close to that walking stage. As far as his personality, panda keepers talk about that a lot and they just sort of have their own style, if you will. Um, so far, we've seen um, the cub be a little bit of feisty and then also be really chill and fall asleep, like literally while they're holding him fall asleep. So By the next checkup, we should know the panda's name. In Northwest, Caroline Patricus, ABC 7 News. So cute. The next milestones, he's going to want a cell phone and then the keys to the car. Live picture right there on the right side as the baby panda without the name is sleeping, sound asleep. Now you can vote on the names, and I don't speak Chinese, but I'll do the best I can. Fu Sai, which means prosperous boy, that's one of the names. Xiao Qi Ji means little miracle. Xin Fun, that means happy and prosperous. And Tai Chai, which is a traditional Chinese nickname for a boy. Not even sure what it means. We have a link, though, on the homepage, WJLA.com, for you to cast your vote. The name that gets the most votes will be announced on Monday. So I can look at his eyes. Hi. Whoa. I know. Hi. Oh. I know it's not right. Will you let me look in your eyes? What do you think today? measurements and then vaccine. So no. fifty six Marty to fifty six to tail base. Is this your turn or ours? That's yours. What was it again? Fifty six. Left 
for your Uh, distemper. Distemper. Only distemper today. Okay, one last check. Mm -hmm. He's all done. Really, so far. So wide open. Did you get a piece of them? Do you want to hold him for a second? <laughs> Hi. You can give him. No, no we'll take him back to that way. Well, our giant panda cub is doing great. He weighs 10.4 pounds and is doing what giant panda cubs sh should, getting bigger and hitting those milestones. Speaking of milestones, what next milestones will we start to see? Well, we've got a few milestones. The biggest milestone that I want to talk about is our naming of this cub. Getting a name for the cub is really important. This week, the public has an opportunity to cast their vote. We've got four name choices up on our website that were chosen by members of our panda team and Chinese colleagues. And so you can come to the zoo's website, check out the names, listen to them, and decide what you think our giant panda cub should be named. Um, any other uh, milestones on the way? I know that we talked about, um, I could see that his legs were sort of lifting and he was almost looking like he was going to walk. Yes. So we use cub milestones to sort of mark out those steps, much the way you have milestones for a child, right? Teething first steps. And so right now our cub is crawling, but its uh, arms and legs are getting stronger and it's pushing up. So that tells our team that it's getting close to that walking stage. Um, are you able in any way to tell us which names are leading in the poll so far? Uh, I can't. I can't. And uh, I have my own personal choice, but I'm staying neutral on this one. Um, we're leaving it up to the public and we're really excited. We'll be announcing the name on November 23rd. Another thing is um, teeth are starting to come in, is that right? Yeah, so teeth are starting to come in and some other milestones that have been hit already, of course, that you might actually visually see. Of course, all those black and white markings are coming in and that was one of the first milestones that you notice, those signature panda markings. Ear canals are open, eyes are open, um, teeth are coming in, and then in the future, the couple start mouthing bamboo. You know, you always hear about babies having their first little bite of sweet potato or something, and that's also something that our cub will be working towards. Right now, 100% taken care of by mom on mom's milk, and Mei Zhang is doing an amazing job. She's an amazing mother. Um, can you describe the cub's personality so far, and um, are all of Mei Zhang's panda cub's personalities different? Yeah, so the pandas have personalities. Uh, our panda keepers talk about that a lot, and they just sort of have their own style, if you will. Um, so far, we've seen um, the cub be a little bit of feisty and then also be really chill and fall asleep, like literally while they're holding him fall asleep. So it's hitting all, all of what it should as a panda, you know, um, being a little feisty, trying to like see what's going on and hear what's going on, especially now eyes are open, especially now it's hearing sounds. So it's definitely reacting. Um, to our team when they when they um, measure and weigh him. Um, how long until he's self-sufficient do you think? Like you said, he might be out and once he's out, he might be climbing a tree. So um, the, the, the a panda cub is with mom till uh, about 18 to, to 24 months at the at max and then we'll be separated. Pandas are solitary in the wild. So it will be with mom, but it will start to wean, which means it will be less dependent on milk. And then it can also start to supplement with bamboo, um, sweet potato, as I mentioned, and other uh, leaf eater biscuits and other food that, that our pandas get here at the zoo. But right now, 100% mama's milk. And um, we had one person want to know if he's like uh, Taishan. Oh, like Taishan. Taishan. You know, each of our panda cubs is different. So this panda cub uh, is the fourth surviving panda cub born here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. Um, Mei Zhang and Tian Tian have sired four cubs, Taishan, Bao Bao, Bei Bei, and now this little guy. So in terms of being like Taishan, I can't speak to that because I wasn't here, but 
as far as being an amazing panda that's bringing joy to millions, I can say that's exactly the same. And um, last question, um, unless you have any, um, how is the mom, Mei Zhang? Mei Zhang is doing wonderful. She is an incredible mom, and I will tell you, having the opportunity, like so many, at this time that is so challenging to tune into our panda cam and just be part of something that I feel is such a natural, intimate moment, which is watching this mother panda and this cub bond. And I think we all need that right now. She's an amazing mom. She's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. You know, for the first weeks of life, that cub is held her by her all the time because its warmth depends on her and everything. And if you've seen the size of a panda as compared to the newborn, she is so gentle with, with him. Although pandas are rough and tumble and when it starts to climb, it's gonna take some falls and just get right back up and have a great time. Is it unusual for, for one female panda to have that many? Um, it's not unusual for uh, giant uh, panda females to, you know, have that many cubs. Um, you know, their job in the wild would be to meet up at the right time with a male and breed to help propagate the species. Here at the Smithsonian's National Zoo, um, we have a, a giant panda conservation program that's almost 50 years long. So in terms of the success we've had here, that is because of our staff and our scientists, our colleagues in China who work very closely together to understand giant panda biology, breeding and reproduction. And that is also why we have four cubs at the Smithsonian's National Zoo or have had four surviving cubs here. Anything else that we missed? No, I think I hit go to the website and vote for the panda cub. I'll have one more thing. I can do one more thing. Um, so if you want to stay in touch and figure and find out what's happening with this cub, follow the zoo on social media. We're using hashtag panda story and of course hashtag panda cub dates and visit nationalzoo.si.edu to vote and tune into that panda cam.